We're diving into the ever-changing topic of should we wait for housing prices to drop, especially here in the South Bay, Los Angeles, and the beach cities of Hermosa Beach, Manhattan Beach, and Redondo Beach, where prices have been going up in the last few years like crazy. <laughs> Well, let me tell you something great. But hey, you and me are here to break it down, have some fun while we're at it. So grab your popcorn or whatever and let's dive in. The okay, I am ready. The myth of waiting for the bubble to pop. Are you one of the people who have been standing on the sidelines hoping and praying for the housing bubble to pop? Are you thinking and praying that prices will magically drop and you'll swoop in and grab your dream home at a bargain? Well, I'd hate to burst your bubble, but it seems like you might be missing out on some serious gains. If you had bought a house in 2020 or 2021, you'd just be swimming in equity right now. It's Econ 101. The demand is high and the inventory is struggling to keep up. So while you were waiting, those who plunged in are reaping the rewards. But Daryl, all I ever hear is that we're in a bubble here in the South Bay. The cost of waiting too long. Picture this, in LA County, rents are skyrocketing up to 10%. It's mind boggling. And interest rates are climbing to the top of the Hermosa Beach water tanks, currently at 7% and probably climbing some more. Yikes. And now some poor families who thought interest rates and the prices would drop and didn't get into the market are priced completely out of the market. Ouch. But what's the moral this story so far. Waiting too long to get in the market might leave you in the dust while the market speeds forward. The shadow home sellers and home buyers. It's time for a glimpse into the future. Well, I predict that you hurry up and stop talking sooner than later. Ever heard of shadow home sellers and shadow home buyers? No. Hey, I'm thinking about selling my place, but I'm waiting for interest rates to drop before I do. You know what I mean. No, they're not the ghost of real estate past, but rather they're potential home sellers and potential home buyers who are waiting around for interest rates to drop or prices to drop or both. They're like two sides of the same coin, hoping for the perfect moment to strike. But guess what? We're still in a low inventory market and there aren't enough homes to go around. The ones that are priced right and marketed perfectly are being snatched up faster than free pizza at a frat party. Really? That's your analogy. <laughs> Multiple offers and bidding wars still exist, yes, in this market. Who needs a roller coaster when you got the South Bay, Los Angeles real estate market? Here's the deal. You've got potential home sellers just itching for the mortgage rates to go down and or the home values to go down or both. And you've got potential home buyers waiting for the same exact thing. They both want lower prices and lower interest rates. It's like a match made in real estate heaven, or is it? Actually, it kind of sounds like housing hell. We've been swimming in low inventory, which means number one, it's actually difficult to swim in. And number two, homes have been flying off the shelf like TVs at a Black Friday. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Okay. But what's up with mortgage rates? The dilemma for waiting for real estate mortgage interest rates to drop. Ah, uh, interest rates, the sneaky little devils that have been creeping into your real estate marketing dreams and either making them or breaking them. But approximately 65% of the people who have home mortgages and snagged those super low interest rates a couple of years ago are all under 4% fixed rate. And now both potential home sellers and potential home buyers are all holding their breath waiting for something to change like the rates to go down or the prices to go down and what's it been doing lately <laughs> mortgage interest rates well i'll tell you what they're doing they're going up and then they're going down and they're up and down they're toying with our emotions again and again to understand what i'm saying and let me tell you, when the mortgage interest rates take a nosedive and go into the 5%, it's going to be a mad scramble. All of those shadow home buyers are going to come out of the shadows and scramble for all of the low inventory. And the competition is gonna be fierce. Ah, zombies! Good luck getting your offer accepted. And guess what? More demand equals higher prices. It's Econ 101, but with a satirical twist. Do you even know the meaning of satire? 
Well, you got a choice right now. Pay a higher interest rate right now and potentially be able to negotiate on the deal or wait and likely risk paying more and having fierce competition and skyrocketing prices at the same time. Tough call, isn't it? And what happens when demand outpaces supply? I'm pretty sure you already answered that one. Mm -hmm. You guessed it, prices shoot up like one of those Falcon 9s over on the coast. It'll be just like 2021. The crystal ball in your future self. Gaze into the crystal ball and think about your future self right now. Is it better to endure higher interest rates and secure your dream home now at a lower price in this market? Or should you hold out and hope that rates drop and risk facing even more competition, higher prices? Do you see what I mean? And let's address the elephant in the room, the hype, the clickbait, and the uncertainty of an oncoming recession? Little known fact that except for the previous recession, the big one, 2008 to 2012, uh, that homes have actually appreciated that one. That was the worst. I kid you not, showing that four out of the last five recessions, home prices have actually gone up. So now it's time to have a heart to heart with your future self. What's the best decision for you and your family in the long run? Can you make a move now that sets you up for success later? Or do you need to wait? Tough call, right? But it's only a decision that you can make. But remember here in the South Bay, Los Angeles, history has shown us that homes have appreciated over time in the long run. And there's never been a 10 year period in the history of South Bay that property prices have devalued. What's the best plan for you and your family in the grand scheme of things? And remember, never, no, always, fortune favors the bold. Oh, I know, it's been a, a crazy ride through this roller coaster real estate market of the beach cities in the South Bay, Los Angeles. <laughs> this is an adventure? <laughs> and it looks to be pretty similar in the coming months. And if you're new to this, this probably could be an eye-opening spectacle of real estate speculation, especially here in the beach cities. And if you want to chat further about any, with any questions or talk to me about any of your dreams or aspirations, just hit me up in the DMs or you can send me an email at daryl at darylpalmer.com. I'm always here to help you navigate the turns and the twists of the crazy real estate market that we are in and we will continue to be in. Now, interest rates may be stupidly high right now, but that doesn't mean you can't plan to make moves in the real estate game. And sometimes maybe the best move might be to do it now, even though interest rates are stupidly high, because we know eventually they will come down. But at what cost of the market going up until the rates come down? It's math, but we don't know how to figure it out until afterwards. Your future self will thank you though. No, I thank you for stop. Ciao.